This is the Soulful Artist. So I want to talk today a little bit about having fun with what it is that you're doing in your life. Whether this is healing, working, growing projects, being creative, raising a family, taking care of yourself, whatever it is that you're doing, having fun with it is so important. There was a time in my life where I thought business, being busy, you know, uh, meant having no time for fun. That meant working and having tons of responsibilities and really just trying to do everything else before I allowed myself to have fun. But as I get older and as I experience my own journey more and more, I realize that while all there's there's all this time we spend on seriousness, we're not having fun uh, a, a lot of that time. So making it fun, and this is something I'm really trying to do this year, making it fun for myself is important to me. Now, when I talk about the spiritual journey, if you're on a spiritual journey, we're all literally on our own spiritual path and we're all opening up and learning about ourselves and if there even is a path or if it's not really like that, if there is no real way forward, you know, and if, cause, cause forward thinking, right? Forward thinking is a mindset, but if we forget to have fun while we're in the seriousness of a healing path or raising your vibration, okay, or you're healing things, uh, traumas, past traumas, I think if you forget to have fun while you're doing it, you could get very serious thing and things will get serious, but having fun while in the midst of all that is just as important. And I find that this is just as important with what you do on a daily basis. If you're working, if you're doing tons of projects that having fun with it, it really opens up a whole bunch of different areas of growth. So during, when I had my awakening about three years ago, I dove head first into soaking up as much information as I could, getting teachings from different mentors, uh, learning from gurus, learning different things. And I really, in the midst of it, only a few would would ever talk about how having fun is a part of this process. And sometimes maybe that's the point. And I feel as though it's hard for a lot of people to let go and have fun when they're on their own spiritual journey because they get so wrapped up and I've done this, okay? Get so wrapped up in the improvement and if we get, if we start talking about enlightenment in and of itself, that that's a whole different topic. But if we talk about enlightenment, you know, there's really something to be said for the heart of the child. Okay. And being able to access our emotions, access our inner child, access that energy within us that helps our heart to grow. The heart is the key to a lot of this healing process. And if you've forgotten to have fun and you're all up in your head with your spiritual journey, uh, it can get, it can get very hard. It can get messy, so to speak. So how do you have fun? And really that's doing what you want. Okay, doing anything that you want. There are no rules, there are no guidelines to how you're supposed to follow your own inner compass. You can have as much fun as you want. You can be as goofy as you want. Okay, you can do whatever you feel is fun for you. I mean, okay, yes, of course, within reason, right? But sometimes releasing that reason and saying that maybe I've been taking myself too fucking seriously with all that I've been doing. And I've forgotten that I also have 
fun in my tool belt. So if that means mud wrestling, hanging out with your friends, eating an edible, whatever it is, okay, even if it's like finger painting, I talk about that a lot, painting, sketching something out, listening to music really loud in your car, going for a walk on the beach, playing with a dog, you have to take time to appreciate all those small things in your life that you might be missing out on because you're so serious. And we live in a culture, this culture now that is very fast paced and everybody's thoughts are being put out there uh, in a direct line of sight for everybody to see. But we're missing out on the fun parts, you know, the, the fun things. One of, one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid was, I don't know if anybody else remembers these, those gigantic parachutes, like huge balloon parachute things that they would bring out in, in class, like in gym class or a teacher would have it. And you would, all of the students would stretch it out and a big circle and then they would play with it and it would go up in the air and then you'd go down with it. And it was just huge, gigantic, big parachute thing. And I feel like as adults, we forget that that part of us still exists. It's okay to want to jump into the ball pit occasionally. You know, we don't have to be all serious 24 seven. It's okay to have fun with your spiritual journey. It's okay to have fun with your life journey. And it's okay, even if you're going to the gym, to make it fun for yourself, get excited. And I think getting excited is really what it's all about. If you're not excited about your, your growth spiritually, emotionally, physically, if you're not excited about it, something has to change. And that is the approach. So have fun with it. This is something that I'm learning, is to really have fun with it. That's where the heart lies within that, within that moment of the smiling, the laughing and understanding yourself better within the fun, within (laughs) those beautiful moments, you know, that's experiencing something that can never be replaced 